Mark McKay here for SpokenText.net. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to record text using Spoken Text. First of all, I've logged into my account and now I'm going to click the Create a New Recording button. Now I'm going to use the Enter Text option which just lets you copy and paste some text into a box and record it. So I'm going to go off to my blog here. I have opened in another tab. I'm going to right click and copy the text. I'll go back in and I'll paste the text into the box. Give the recording a name. I call it test recording. And I'll set my options. So first off, we have many different choices of voices you can use. So we have Mike and Tegan and Charles, uh, American English, British English, uh, French and Spanish, and uh, many other choices of American English and French and Spanish voices. I'm going to go with Mike. Uh, you can change the speed of how fast the voice talks, and you can set it you know, faster or slower. And also, um, you can set the volume level. Down here, I have a few more options because I have a teacher account. These are only in the teacher and student accounts. First of all, you can determine whether the name of the recording will be included with the recording and uh, whether the length will be included with the recording or not. Here you can have the site send you an email when the recording is ready, if this is useful if you have a really long recording, and also you can make the uh, recording public or not. We're good to go, so I'm going to hit record. And now, while we wait for the recording to go through the process of being uh, recorded, let's uh, look at the sample audio file that you get with your account. So this is our, our quick start guide, so you can listen to this to learn a little bit more about how to use the site. First off, if you want to listen to recording here, you can just click the little play icon. Text, quick start guide, recording length, 0, 2 minutes, and 23 seconds. This recording was created using www.spoken. So there you go. Here you can find out how long your recordings are in the length column. The download column lets you download the file, so you can actually download it as a single MP3. You can download it as multiple MP3s, five minute chunks, or as an audiobook format. This is uh, supported in iTunes. You can just drag and drop this file once you've downloaded it into iTunes, and it'll become an audiobook. I'll show you an example here. I'll just click one of these links. So here you go. So you get a little download box, and you can hit uh, OK and download it to your computer. I'll hit cancel for now. This here lets you know if the, if the file is public or not. That means whether it shows up on your public recording page. We'll go into that in a future tutorial. So up here you can tell that now this row has been updating and uh, right now my um, recording is in the status of recording text. So that means it's in the process of actually creating the recording. So off to the corner here on the end. Oh, look at that. It's done. So now let's listen to it. Test recording, recording length 0, 3 minutes and 56 seconds. How to submit text files for recording by email Tuesday, May 22nd, 2007. SpokenText.net now supports email submission of text files for recording. So there you go. You can jump around the recording by just clicking within the timeline here. And um, that's it for this recording. Next, we'll tackle the next tab in the recording options, Documents.